Good afternoon, everyone. Looks like Instagram was lagging just a second behind there, but we are live on both platforms and, of course, on YouTube. Almost said WhatsApp. It's one of those days. So we've got everybody going. Hi, Marjorie. I take it it's gotten easier to find my lives on uh, YouTube because you're one of the first ones on every time. So I'm glad that's working out for you. Today I have some new inventory, of course, mixed with my current inventory. So we've got a lot of nice things to look at. We're going to do all necklaces today. So we have long, short, and then a couple that are kind of on the in-between side, mid-length necklaces. So I've got a lot to show everybody. We'll give everybody just a few minutes to get in here. My name is Christy. If you haven't been here before, this is putting on the glitz where we sell all our paparazzi accessories for $5 each. I've been a consultant since June of last year. So next month will be a year for me. I did this instead of getting a part-time job because I was having trouble getting one from home. Um, so I decided to do this instead. Plus, I get a great discount on the jewelry that I already like. So that's really nice. Hi, Daisy. Thank you, Violet. I like this one, too. I uh, had it for sale in green for a while, but the blue was a special that we had um, last summer. Thank you, Violet, for sharing. So get a few perks like that where we get um, special releases a few times a year. Oh, you got it bookmarked. That's great. That works out well. So if you're not familiar with the way that I do my billing, we do it once a week on Monday. I will invoice you for everything from the previous Monday through Sunday night. Um, so it's Sunday night's my big show. So for the whole week, and that way you can combine shipping as well as you only have to pay one time. So that's a little bit nicer than having to pay at every show. Hi, Allison. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you all. So now that we got all that out of the way, we will go ahead and get started today. Say hi to mom. She's on time today. Yeah, hi to mom because she's on time today. There we go. <laughs> You're not late today, mom. You didn't take your nap, apparently. We did. All right. So this one is Walk Like an Egyptian. We are not going to sing the song today. Max. This is in black metal. Hi, Kimberly. I just have one of these available. They sent me one random necklace, and um, this was it. So we have the two pretty curved bars, and then a black metal circle underneath. Our chain is also black metal. The earrings are black circles, like on the bottom of that pendant, and they are on fish hook backs. So let me turn this camera a little bit on Instagram so you can see Linda a little bit better. Linda is our headless model over here. So you can see this one falls just a little bit beyond mid chest. With your two inch extension, that's going to bring that circle right down here about the middle of the bust. So this one is the only one I have available in this style or this I'm, I want to say this style, but I actually have a gold one like this. But this is the only black one. So this is Walk Like an Egyptian. And it is going to be number one. Yeah, I remember the bangles. They're great for a jewelry show, right? The bangles. I should have brought out bracelets. <laughs> All right. Next up, this one is called Brags to Riches. And it is in purple. So we have crystal shaped beads. So they're a faceted opaque purple bead. We have some large ones and then some smaller ones along the edge. And we also have those faceted beads in silver. So small ones and large ones as well mixed in there to give it a pretty and shiny look. Get that little sparkle from the silver. So we just have one of these remaining because Helen has gotten hers already. The earrings are the purple crystal type beads. They're not clear, they're opaque, but they're a crystal type in shape. Sorry, this one's about two inches below that neckline. 
with a two inch extension, it will sit right down here about on the bust or right at the top of the bust. So this one's Brags to Riches Marjorie's. in purple and it belongs to Marjorie. Number two. I have another really pretty purple one. I'm gonna ready to show you that next. You might remember this necklace because I had this necklace in different colors. Um, is it last week? I think it might've been last week. Hi, Aunt Dora. This one is called Fifth Avenue Fleek. Fifth Avenue Fleek. And they're actually calling this one multi. Hi, Esley. She's on Instagram, so you won't be able to see her. So this one is I'm trying to decide if those are silvery pearls. I believe those are silvery pearls, not white, but they're very pale silver. And then a light purple in kind of a pear shape down below. So these are pearly beads in that light silver and light purple. I do have two of these. And the earrings are that same pearly bead on a fish hook back. This one, the chain is gonna lay right up here at that collar and then the, fan, the beads fan out from there. They're falling almost mid chest, not quite. With two inch extension, they'll end right down about here. So right above the bust. Kimberly would like number one in the black and the gold. Okay, you've got it. So this is Fifth Avenue Fleek in multi. And it's number three. Okay, you didn't show the gold, right? I did not show the gold, but it's right on the board behind me. So. Okay. Our next one is in a pretty bright blue. This one is what they call French blue. It's a little bit brighter than what I'm used to in French blue, but that's okay. We have faceted rounded rectangular. So they're kind of a rounded edged rectangle with facets, two strands of these beads. You can see how shiny and sparkly they are with those facets on them. And then these are the crystal cut type of bead. So they're not transparent, but they do have the cuts, the little facets like the crystals. Our earrings are those same crystal cut beads on a fish hook back. I like that color. I like that color too. I have not found an ugly color of blue yet, but I really like blue. And this is one of my favorites. So this one is about an inch and a half below that neckline. And then of course you have that two inch extension. So you could bring this whole thing down and it's going to sit right across the bust here. So you've got lots of room to play with there. This one is called Resort Ready. Resort ready in blue. I have two of them available and it's number four. I just can't believe how shiny those beads look. Really, really pretty. Our next one, if I get it off of here, number four for Esley. This one comes, it does have a, a coordinating bracelet available. So just so you know, I do have a coordinating bracelet for this one. I have two of each. So I have two bracelets and two necklaces. These are the turquoise crackle beads. So we've got round flat discs of turquoise crackle beads up there. We've got some pretty patterned silver beads here. And then these are thin turquoise discs with a thin silver disc in between each of them. I'll give you kind of that close up view. The earrings are the patterned silver beads on a fish hook back, which I can show you up a little closer on the bracelet. It's easier to see them. This one's about an inch and a half also beneath that neckline with the two inch extension. It's going to sit down right about here, right above that bust. The bracelet is stretchy, which is nice because it will adjust to most any wrist has those same flat, silver and turquoise beads and then that patterned bead let's see if i can get a good shot of it 
Instagram's gonna hate me today, I guess. Let me show it over here and then try again. There we go. Nice little pattern there. Almost looks like cable knit to me on that pattern. I guess it's not gonna show you guys on Instagram that little pattern, but it kind of looks like a cable knit sweater. So again, we have two bracelets, two necklaces. These are going to be number five. And it is called Desert Revival. Let me see if I can get it. Nope, still not gonna let me do it. I gave it a shot. All right, time for a question. We are going to take answer number three on this question. So first person to get the correct answer will get an extra entry into our drawing of all our participants today. Name a good last minute gift. A good last minute gift. Set it aside. Oh. Hi, Sharon. So you came in on our question. We're looking for a good last minute gift. Money's always good. Number two was money. They didn't have gift card on here. I'm thinking that they put it in with money. That would be a popular one because it allows them get to get what they want. Flowers was number one. Journal is not on there. We've got flowers. We've got money. What else? Good last minute gift. Is that it? What? Hmm? <laughs> Candy or chocolate was number four. Fruit basket challenge it. Ooh, fruit basket would be nice. It's not on there. wine. Hey, wine is good. Liquor was on there. That was number six. So I guess we'll put wine in with that for right now. Dinner? Dinner's not on there. Hmm. Man didn't say that, did <laughs> It's because all you think about is feeding us. Then you complain when we get fat. What's up with that? So we have two answers we haven't gotten, and one of them is the winning answer. A good last-minute gift. And I find that on our wi our winning answer, not as many people give this anymore. Actually, the last two. Jewelry is a good guess. <laughs> You're getting close. You're thinking in the right direction, at least. Max, you're still wrong. Be quiet. <laughs> A night out. Ooh, a spa is good. Yeah, tell Sharon to tell her husband he's, she's going to give him a spa and see what he'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say these gifts are mostly for women. So, um... Maybe something you'd put on when you got ready for a night out. Not linens, not clothing. We're thinking last minute. So something you can just kind of grab. Crystal's good. It might come in a crystal bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not nail polish. Not an engagement ring. Oh, you don't want that to be last minute. That's not a good idea. Perfume. Esley got it. She came in just before Sharon. Perfume. And then the other one was stationary. I don't know who's answering these questions. I honestly don't. But, you know. Hi, Lisa. Who lingerie is good. <laughs> lingerie is good anytime, right? <laughs> so perfume was a good last minute gift. Not as many people give that anymore, do you think? I don't know if it's because everybody's tastes are kind of specific. And you don't want to get them the wrong scent. But not so many people give that as a gift anymore. I hope you don't get a last-minute gift for perfume because you can <laughs> go wrong with that. 
Okay, this one is all about me in blue. So we have another one of these bright French blues. We have these wavy beads on here, kind of like potato chip beads, but they're in a specific wave shape. And then we have polished oval rings. So this is a longer necklace. We've got a little bit of chain down at the bottom here. I think I just have one of these left in this color. I do have other colors, but not this French blue. The earrings are that blue pearly bead on a fishhook back. This is the length. So it's down there just barely below this dropped waist. Move my Facebook camera. There we go. So you can see the bottom of that. With the two inch extension, it's going to go into that lower belly area. Let's do that again. There we go. This one would be easy to shorten a little bit because you can fasten into the chain and just pull it up. So this one is all about me in blue. And it is number six. That's why we buy ourselves everything. Yes, Sharon. Because we have very specific tastes. So it's hard to get the right thing. And you're always worried when you buy someone else a gift, you're going to buy the wrong thing. So, you know, you buy perfume. There are some scents you like, some scents you don't like. I know I'm allergic to quite a few of them. So I usually buy my own. Hi, Terry. That's why Johnny Watson used to buy his wife tools. Johnny Watson bought his wife tools. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. This is I Outrank You. Yeah, listen to that one. I Outrank You. <laughs> so we've got two studded teardrops on the outside. So we've got the antique silver studs and then a marquee shaped rhinestone right in the center, hanging from the center of that teardrop. Our earrings with this one are the silver tassels. There we go. Make it lay around the right way. So this one's down around belly button level. So kind of mid to lower abdomen. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down below that dropped waist about here. This one has that sliding chain. So it would be very easy to adjust the chain to the length you want and wear it up at the top. So this one is, I outrank you. I almost want to keep this one just so I can say that. I outrank you. Not in Jehovah's organization, no, sorry. Number seven. <laughs> it's also why I keep this business. Just saying. Because that's the only time I can say that. All right, this one I have matching upgrade earrings available for. This one is called a dazzling distraction. A dazzling distraction in green, number seven to Kimberly, please. So this is a delicate oval with green rhinestones. So they're like an emerald green or maybe just a tad bit brighter. Max does not need a microphone, trust me. <laughs> the earrings are silver tassels. We do not want to hear him right now. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. This one lays in about that same area, mid to lower abdomen, around the belly button area with the two inch extension. It's going to be down here right below that dropped waist. I also have the upgrade earrings available. So these are, again, same ovals. I actually match them up and they're the exact same ovals that are on that pendant with the green rhinestones. Yes, Daisy. This is the size. No, Daisy can't talk. I can't see her comments. <laughs> Keep talking, Daisy. He can't see your comments. So this is what those look like paired up together. You can have one or the other or both. So we've got a dazzling distraction in green. And it is number eight. That must be my coffee arriving from Amazon. Now I wish they just made it before they would bring it to me. That would be nice. 
they're not that full of service. I don't know why. All right, this one is Weekend Getaway in green. This is a more pale green. Looks like key lime pie to me. Maybe I'm just hungry. These are cloudy green beads, so they're semi-transparent and then opaque green beads as well. We've got the smoky crystal type beads and then the polished silver beads as well. The earrings are the opaque green beads on a fish hook back. This one hangs, you can see, right at the bust, starting to go below the bust. And so with your two inch extension, it's gonna come more down like here, past the bust. So this is Weekend Getaway in green. And it's number nine. Let's have a weekend getaway to Tucson. Well, let's have a weekend getaway. I don't think we're going to Tucson on the weekend. Maybe not we not for a weekend. No. We need to stay longer than that if we're going to Tucson. Plus, we got to hop on over and see Jane in Pasadena. So we got to wait for um, restrictions to be lifted here. All right. This one is in hot pink. I do have two of these available. It's kind of a dark hot pink. This is called Vintage Vanity, and you can see that antique type frame around this polished pink bead. So it kind of has the little swirls. They're not really scroll work, but they're little swirls around the outside of this. It reminds you of an antique picture frame or the mirrors. You're not far from there. Okay, well, then we're going to have to stop and see Daisy and Esley and Noemi as well. So this is what that looks like. Let me see if I can get it up close. I don't think so, Kimberly. She wants to know, does she have this necklace? I don't believe so. I do have two of these available. So this one's going to hang very much in the same spot, lower to mid abdomen, around the belly button area with the two-inch extension. It'll come down here. Of course, because of your sliding chain, you could always bring it up so that you can see it on Zoom. So this is Vintage Vanity. There we go, we're finally getting a little. Two of them available, number 10. Yes, we definitely need to come when it's cooler next time. Last time we went in, no, not last time, the first time we went in June, not a good time to visit Tucson for the first time ever. It did not make me want to go back. The second time it was September, September, September. And, then it pops, got hurt. and it was not too, too bad, but it's still pretty warm there. All right. Ready for our next question? We are going to take. Kim does not have that. Kim, you do not have that necklace. He yeah. checked you. Jennifer's only one that bought it. Okay. Number five on this question we're going to take out of six answers. Name something people put oil on. Something that people put oil on. Girls arm when they hurt him. <laughs> Squeaky door was number two. Body was. Let's see. Well, I guess that would be skin. That would be number three. Body, face, hair, and scalp was number six. A pan was not in here. They should have put that on there. Salad was number one. Potatoes. They're good on potatoes. A baby was the correct answer. So Violet got that first. Car engines. That's a good one. It wasn't on here. I was looking because there's another one that we I don't think we've said. A bicycle. Gotta have oil on your bicycle. So oil on the babies is what we're going for today. Max should know that. He's got to grease them up every time they come out of the bathtub. Yeah, he passed that responsibility to me. 
they get slippery. Little scorby babies, and then you make them slippery. And then they go put on two pennies. That's an accident waiting to happen. All right. This one is one of our blockbusters. It's actually one of my favorite ones. This one is called Love Story. So these are clusters of white pearly beads and white rhinestones set around a silver chain. This one only comes in the silver. The earrings are those white pearly beads with a white rhinestone right above them on a fish hook back. There is a matching bracelet available for this, and I do have some. I usually keep these blockbusters in stock. I try to keep two of each one at least so that it's easy to get them, and then I can reorder them anytime. This one's about half an inch to an inch below that collar. It just depends. Okay, Sharon, would you like both, or would you like just the necklace? It just depends on where you're measuring. With the two-inch extension, though, it's going to come down about mid-chest or right above the bust. Our bracelet is exactly the same thing with that adjustable chain and it has the larger chain which is nice gives you a little room there to extend it okay Sharon would like one of the necklaces so we've got love story I do not have any in I can order them Ashley so number 11 Kim would like one of each I don't usually carry Z collections because they're a little bit more expensive and I don't want them to just sit around here. So I order them fresh whenever you order them. And that way we get them in and uh, they're ready for you. So I don't want them to sit around. So if you find any that you are interested in, I can special order those for you from paparazzi. All right. This one is very Valentine in white. So we have these filigree hearts. They are two-sided, hollow in the middle. The Z collection are 25 each. The blockbusters are only five each, Kim. So those ones you just bought, those are $5 each. They have white pearly beads at the top of each heart, hanging in a cute little cluster. This is on a ringed chain. The earrings are white pearly beads on a fish hook back. So you and Ashley were talking about something different. Yes. Ashley and I were talking about something different. She asked about the Z collection. This one is hanging about a quarter inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're going to bring that down. The top of it's going to be here. The bottom of it right about here. So this one is very Valentine. This one is in white. Number 12. This one. I only have one of as well. This was a Life of Party special. This is a limited piece. It is a turquoise crackle stone heart with little round crackle stones all around the outside and then round crackle stone beads along that chain. This is also set in silver. The earrings are the round round crackle stone beads in that same blue. This is where it hangs. So the pendant's about a quarter inch below that collar. Give you a little bit of room here. With the two inch extension, that pendant, the bottom of it is going to be right about here. So you're talking about this area right in here. This one is a heart of stone in blue. I thought you said life of the party. No, nope. this was a life of the party special. Oh, it's okay. number 13. Don't keep giving out names like that. Heart you need to stone. pay attention to what I'm saying. By the way, we're going to hit life of party bronze next month. So then we get access to five exclusive pieces every month that other consultants do not get access to. So we're looking forward to having those available for you. That one was provided by one of my friends so that I could offer it to you before I hit life a party so that you can see what they're like. 
So this is, did I read that right? Yes, Powerhouse Prowl in blue. So this is, I wouldn't say this is quite the French blue. They're calling this surf blue on my color chart. So it has just a tiny bit of maybe that turquoisey or aqua look in it. With all these cutouts kind of made to look like animal skin pattern. It is set in silver. The earrings are small wedges of that plate that's down below. Kind of a trapezoid shape. So it's definitely a statement necklace. We have two of these available. It's about half an inch below that collar with our two inch extension. That's going to bring the bottom of it down here, which means looking at this area right here above the bust. So it'll take in that lower chest. This is Powerhouse Prowl in blue and it's number 14. Hopefully, the fashion fixes will start coming soon. I've got to be getting close to having my turn come up on that wait list. So we're waiting for that. No pun intended. All right, the next one, I have had this in green for a little while, but now I was able to get it in blue. Um, they're calling this forget-me-not blue on my color chart. So we have tiny pressed flowers in the center of this glassy bead. It's a flat glassy bead, like a disc, surrounded in silver. So it's framed in silver. The earrings are the blue tassels. Not blue tassels, I'm sorry, silver tassels. I don't know where blue came from. Blue on the brain. This is the length of it without extending it. If you extend it, you could get it to fall right down here below the bust if you'd like to, or right at the bust. So big change to Violet. Violet would like one of number 15. I have three of these, so I have two more. What's it called? It's called Tea Party Teas. So I know this is hard to see. The little pressed flowers. Two pieces of glass. In. Yep, number 15. All right, your mom wants it too. She wants it too. Okay. You do still have some available in green if anybody would rather have green. So it kind of looks like a little bit of greenery. All right. This should be a little bit of fun. Let's see. Let us. Do number two on this one. Yes, those white earrings, very, very similar. How would you tell the whole world you're in love? We're looking for answer number two on this one. How would you tell the whole world that you're in love? Yes, Violet would like the green one as well. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, I have on pre-order those same white earrings um, that you have with the white flower, but they're ringed in copper instead of silver. Okay, so we've got social media was not on here, although that's how most people do it these days, right? Skywriting was number one. Picture yell actions neon sign facebook good morning america good morning america <laughs> okay stadium board that kind of falls in between some of these i think we're going to let you have that one terry because i think they would consider that a tv these days so it's announced on tv which is about the same thing as Esley telling her sisters. But we also had put on a billboard. So that's also similar. And it's also similar to the neon sign that was guessed. The newspaper was number four. 
Only one I didn't see. That we really should have guessed was to get married. Getting married. All right, let's do some more long ones. Let this one untangle itself here. It likes to wrap around itself. This one is in hot pink. Oops, it's going to get caught on the bottom of the base here. This one is in pink. It is, you can see it's three layers. This is called Beachside Babe. When it's in the hot pink, it has our delicate silver rings on it and our silver chain. The earrings are those same hot pink beads on a fish hook back. This is the way that all your layers lay. So let me see. Let me just separate these so that you can see the different layers. So this one's kind of belly button level. And then we've got one that's about two inches lower and then one about an inch lower than that so that goes down into that lower below the tape below the dropped waist with a two inch extension it's going to drop all the way down into here so you could pull this up a little bit if you wanted to get more of the pink beads up in the top just by latching into that chain but this is beach side babe in pink do not Google this one without putting paparazzi next to it because you will get plenty of beachside babes that are either wearing pink or have turned pink. <sighs> My husband learned that one the hard way with the yellow version. You do not ever Google that without putting paparazzi next to it. Got a lot of unwanted pictures. You don't have to tell that every time. I do have to tell it every time because there are new people and they forget. <laughs> this one is Practical Prairie in orange and brass. So we, have, <laughs> so we have a bright orange bead, oval in shape, with a pretty studded brass frame around the outside in antiqued brass. So the darker brass. This one has that brass chain as well. And our earrings are smaller orange ovals on a brass fish hook back. Oh no, we don't play nice. That's like saying play fair. That's not fun. This one hangs down in that belly button area as well in that lower to mid abdomen with the two inch extension It's gonna come down in here. This one does have that sliding chain. So if you wanted to shorten it and bring it up to be seen on the Zoom meetings, you could definitely do that. So this one is Practical Prairie. Practical Prairie in orange. And it is number 17. Nope, not going to let that one go. Should have never told you. Should have never told me. You are absolutely right. This one paparazzi calls red. Let's have a debate. Who sees orange? Because I see orange. Uh -huh. They're calling this red. So we're going to go with it. It's called pep in your step. So this one is a round orange bead. So like a half sphere set in silver with a little silver tassel below it. I have two of these available. This one has the tassel earrings as well. That's what I thought. Everybody says orange. Mm -hmm. Kimberly says red. She's just trying to be on your side because she feels sorry for you now. All right, this one is in the mid abdomen with that tassel hanging down <laughs> to the- We're drawing. Yeah, that's not funny, mom. <laughs> with the tassel hanging down to that dropped waist with the two inch extension is going to come down here in the lower abdomen. Did I freeze for anyone besides Violet? I'm thinking it might be her internet because she has that problem occasionally. This one has that sliding chain as well. So if you want to shorten it to be seen up here, you could do that. So I have two of these. 
my exercise approach for her too. Okay. Pep in your step. Orange. Okay. So I am freezing for everybody. 18. I'll tell you, it's too hot here to be freezing. Okay. At least it was only for a moment. So you were playing the freeze song. Everybody freeze. Yeah. Max was playing this party freeze song. That's what it was. So I had to freeze. I'm not good at freezing. I wiggle too much to freeze. This one. Get our layers right again. Hmm. The was the, the song. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. No, no singing. No singing. I promised them no singing. I this is, sing that <laughs> this is that. New York City chic. So we have the red pearly beads here. This one is red pearly beads alternating with the crystal type red beads. They are actually transparent. This one's a solid strand of the red pearly beads. And then this one is the red pearly beads also alternating with crystal type beads and chain in a little larger size. I just have one of these available. The earrings are the red pearly beads on a fish hook back. This solid one always wants to hang just a little bit differently than the others because it's a little stiffer. Really? So this is the way it's supposed to. No, we are not We can't singing. sing the party friends unless the girls are here. Max says they're not allowed to sing the party freeze unless Spencer and Taylor are here because they love that song. This is the way the layers hang. So this one's in the upper abdomen, this one just below it, and then this one down in the belly button area. With the two inch extension, you can bring this all down. That's going to put this one more like here. Put our last one down right underneath this dropped waist. So just one of these available. This is New York City chic in red and it's number 19. I know my father he would have left you both on the side of the road that's what he would have done. All right this one is charmingly colorful in black. Why did they call it charmingly colorful since it's in black? I don't know. Black is not a color it is the absence of color. So we have two layers. So I'm pulling this apart because I'm showing you there's three layers at the bottom, but there's two layers coming off of this second, the bottom of the second layer. Mm -hmm. So it's actually only two layers, but it looks like three. So we've got two strands with these black opaque beads and the polished silver beads. And the earrings are the opaque black beads on a silver fish hook back. This is the length of those strands. So again, we're meant to lower abdomen with all three of these. And with the extension, it's going to go down here. So we've got charmingly colorful in black. And it is number 20. Careful, you're going to get them caught because of the way you're grabbing them. I don't want you to get them caught. All right. This one I have in two colors. I'm going to show you the yellow first. This is... Person. Oops, I did. Fine. I'll show it to you in a minute. <laughs> don't be upset. Don't be crazy. <sighs> you're going to get fired again. Yeah, you get Caitlin back. All right. 20 for the win. <laughs> Kimberly would like 20 for the win. Don't worry. We're not done yet. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, answer number five on this one. What is the most uncomfortable thing on which you ever slept? The most uncomfortable thing that you've ever slept on. Mm. I'm going to take number five. Answer number five. Mm, that's got to be really bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing keeps Max from sleeping. But it doesn't say it kept you from sleeping. The ground was number two. A cot bed. Yes, some of those are really hard. We have one in here that the girls sleep on, and I actually bought a mattress topper and doubled it over and put it on there. 
the floor was number one. A lumpy mattress. That should be on there. It is not, but it should be. Some of those are horrible, especially if the springs are starting to, you can feel them through there. An air mattress can be bad. Yes. It's not on there, but a Sand. chair is number three. <laughs> Sand at the beach. Ooh, that can be hard too. Fold out beds are horrible for the same reason. You can feel those bars and the fold out couches. They're horrible. So we're going to count that as couch. That was number four. So nobody's gotten number five yet. And for answer number five, what else can you think that you slept on? A plane. That was horrible. Not a plane. Hammock. Sleeping bag, car. Cars can be very uncomfortable. It's not on here. A hammock's uncomfortable? I would hope not. Water bed. Bed of nails? Nope. A swing. All right, ladies, this is actually something you wear that you would sleep on. I know you know this one. I have no idea. No, nope. we'll give them a second. They'll figure it out. Nope. Something you sleep on that you wear. Not a brace. Braided hair, you're getting close. Not earrings, not glasses, not your wig. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, Esley gives up. I do too, Esley. <laughs> not a bun. Curlers. Marjorie got it. Curlers or rollers. They're horrible. I don't care what how soft they say they are. They're horrible. You got to use them as spy things. <laughs> Those are the hot rollers. Oh, okay. <laughs> the girls found one of our hot rollers the other day, one of Caitlin's hot rollers, and held it up to her eye. She was using it as a spy glass. So now we laugh about that. Yes, the curlers are the rollers. Those are torture to sleep in. Ooh. Oh, Sharon must just be tough. All right. This one is vividly vivid since Max wouldn't let me show it to you before. We've got four layers down here at the bottom of this one, but these are the nice kind of layers. They're only at the bottom, so you can't get them tangled all up. We have pretty yellow beads up here in the opaque and the crystal type transparent bead. And then three textured rings hanging in between. We just wear them to Walmart now. <laughs> the earrings are the opaque yellow beads on a fish hook back. <laughs> all right this one is going to come down to this dropped waist with the two inch extension it's going to come down here i do also have this one available in red so i've got one in red and one in yellow so we got a bright cherry jolly rancher red and a lemon drop yellow See, thinking about candy. These are vividly vivid. Number 21. So we need to get some jewelry that looks like curlers, huh? No, we do not need to get jewelry that's that looks Sharon like curlers. I know that's what Sharon says. <laughs> we can bling out your curlers, Sharon. Just bring them up here and we'll get out the dazzler and put rhinestones all over them, okay? We can do that. Our next one is Magnificently Milan. This is a pretty lavender purple. I would call it a little bit more lilac. Um, it has a little tinge of pink to it. We have pearly beads with fancy bead caps on them. 
little scrolly bead caps, then some elongated oval ones and some cloudy crystal type along with the transparent crystal type beads all in that same shade. Yes, I would call it lilac too. The earrings are those pearly beads in the same color of purple. They're on a fish hook back. It's a gorgeous color. This one hangs just below the bust in that upper abdomen area with the two inch extension. You could bring it down to be more in the lower abdomen or mid abdomen. Just have one of these. It's called Magnificently Milan. And it is number 22. Number 23, I had in multi last week when I showed them to you. Esley wants number 22. Number 22 to Esley. I thought that might be something you'd like, Esley. This one is raise your glass in purple. So all these glassy stones are purple. They are faceted and transparent. So they're like a crystal type bead. They're actually acrylic. They're, they are made to look like crystal or glass, cut glass. Two strands, the earrings are delicate tassels and they're made of kind of a twisted silver. So they reflect the light. You see how they sparkle? That's because they've twisted the chain a little bit with these tassels. So they're very, very pretty. Number 23 goes to Lisa. Can you look and see if we have more than one? We may have more than one. I don't know the name of Raise it. your glass in purple. So Lisa would like it. Hi, Shannon. This one you can see is just dropping right down below the bust with the two inch extension. This one's going to be more down here. And then that, the second one is down here. So this is Lisa's. This is called Raise Your Glass in purple. Number 23. We just have one. And I can't, my you can't find it yet. Out. Okay, hang on just a second. So let me make sure we don't have a second one. Becky, too. Hi, Becky. I finally got in. Purple. Looks like we just have one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just making sure in case somebody else wanted it. Next one is coral reefs in purple. So, again, with the light purple, you might call this lilac or lavender. To me, lavender is a little bit more blue. Lilac is a little more purple. It could be even an orchid, a light orchid color. So that kind of purpley family. We've got some cloudy crystal type beads in here with opaque round purple beads in little groupings. The earrings are the opaque purple beads. Yes, I did. Okay, I didn't hear you. I was all right. This make me sure. This one falls in the lower mid abdomen, so right down here, right above probably the belly button. With the two inch extension, it's going to come right down here, about at this dropped waist. So this one is coral reefs in purple. I do also have this one in an orange, which I don't see right offhand. I think it is up there though in an orange that looks coral. So this is Coral Reefs in Purple, number 24. Number 25. I had this one in silver last week. This is called There's Always Room at the Top in pink. So these are the pink pearly beads. So large bubbly type pearls and then kind of medium sized pearls scattered around this silver chain. This is a longer pink pearly necklace. The earrings are the pink pearly beads on a fish hook back. This is the length of this one. And you can kind of scatter the pearls out so that some are on the inside and some are on the outside. So that it looks more like this. This is mid abdomen. With this pink necklace with the two inch extension you're going to get close 
to this dropped waist, so just above it in that lower abdomen area. You could also pull it up slightly if you wanted it more on the bust like that. Just fasten into that chain. I have one of these left. This is, there's always room at the top in pink. And it's number 25. This is the one you have, right, Becky? I was thinking you had the longer one. I know I had one that was kind of mid-length that was like that. But I was thinking that you had the, the long one. All right, that makes it time for another question. Let's see if we can get an easier one for you. This one's not so bad. Just trying to decide. Let's go with answer number four. I'd like to know their reasoning on some of these answers. Name the most dangerous month to drive. The most dangerous month to drive. We're taking answer number four. July was number three. January was number two. December was number one. November wasn't on there. It didn't make the list. It should have. So I think November is just as bad as December. It just kind of depends on where you live, I guess. February is not on there. May is not on there. March is not on there. That should have been too. There's still lots of ice. So I don't understand why they got those things in. <laughs> August is it, Sharon? August. Why? Was number four. I don't know why. We'll have to look it up. See uh, why August is. We're going to throw that question away. See why August is so dangerous uh, to drive. Let's throw that question away. <laughs> June was the other answer. That was number five. I'm assuming they probably, I don't know. Probably not. No. They probably just surveyed people. They should have surveyed the insurance companies Bad to see question. when the most accidents happen. Bad question. Bad question. <laughs> Max is heckling our question over here. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to fire him. Maybe we should take a vote on that. All right. This one, I just have one left of. I actually have this necklace in black and I really like it. But this is the white version. This is called Airheaded. So this is white pearly beads along with white rhinestones and the tiny silver cage beads. We've got some shine and some sparkle and then the silver. Keep him, he cracks you up. Can I send him out there to you then? He could be like your assistant, right? <laughs> the earrings are the white pearly beads on a fish hook back. Maybe it's because of all the college students going back to college. They don't know how to drive. They're not paying attention. They're probably texting. Hi, Carol. This one's a half inch below that collar. With our two inch extension, you could bring that one down. It's going to hang from right here to about right here. So take up more of that lower to middle chest area. So this one is called air headed. In white. And it's number 26. So you can't get rid of me if your mom wants to. <laughs> Fine. I'll send her to you. I'll send you to her. I've already been there. You're exhausting I've been some there days. Since you have. <laughs> okay, the food is. All right, next up. His grandkids would be heartbroken. That is probably true. I would not want to have to deal with the girls. This is called the imperfectionist in gold so this is in a gold setting which makes these little rhinestones also look goldish so they may actually have a little gold in color they're in an abstract shape which is why they call it the imperfectionist i do have a coordinating bracelet for this one the earrings are the gold rhinestones in a gold setting so let's put this on linda 
this is the length it's about an inch and a half below that collar with the extension that is on it it's going to hit right about here which is above the bust maybe just slightly below mid chest there's the bracelet i almost thought i misplaced the bracelet for a second the bracelet is exactly the same as that necklace those imperfectly shaped rhinestones in the gold setting this is the adjustable chain type so we have that extension to make it fit your wrist i have two of the bracelets and three of the necklaces necklace only to sharon so this is the imperfectionist in gold number 27. see somehow i knew there was going to be at least one person that wanted the necklace only so i ordered an uneven amount which i normally do not do and then i have fringe fabulous in white so these are transparent beads kind of a diamond shape they're a little bit of an abstract diamond shape and then the polished silver beads in that same shape so they're alternating white and silver i like this because it's actually kind of a clear color so it coordinates with anything 27 to mom both the earrings are the transparent clear shapes on a fish hook back i have two of these available Let's see make sure they're not catching on there this one's a quarter inch below that collar maybe just a little over a quarter inch it's going to hang down to right above the bust or mid chest with that extension so this one is fringe fabulous in white and they also sent me one just one in gold so these are both polished gold beads and transparent gold beads so i have one in gold and i have two in the white for fringe fabulous and it's number 28. It does pop. Number 29, I have in two colors. This is Summer Breezin. This is a wooden necklace in a bright tomato red. We have round wooden beads. We have these oval shaped wooden beads. And then we have the discs and the little beads in the center. This one has the earrings that have the cute little flower caps on the bottom. There are also wooden beads on a fish hook back. There is no extension on this because it beads all the way around. 28 gold to Terry. Also have this in a purple that I'm gonna show you. So this one is just below the bust. Again, there is no extension on this, but it is a nice length. And then we have it in that royal purple color. So the bright jewel toned purple. I have one of each, the red and the purple. These are summer breezing, red or purple. Number 29. These would look great with those dresses that have the nice uh, Mexican embroidery in those bright colors across the the top here. Yes, I see your Instagram comments. I told him 28 gold. We got gotcha. you. And number 30, it's my last one for today. This is Love is All Around. It is a purple caged heart. So this is like the cage beads, it is hollow. with filigree, has kind of the shabby chic or distressed finish. So you can see the silver a little bit through this purple. And we have the white rhinestone. The earrings are white rhinestones in a silver setting. Terry wants to make sure you get that. So yeah, I got it. I got it. We yeah. had it. 
We got it from Instagram. Thank you, Terry. Thank you for making sure. This one is in the mid abdomen. That's the length that it comes in. I also do have this in a yellow and a red. With the two inch extension, you could drop it down to that dropped waist, or it has this nice large loop at the top. You could actually pass this chain through there again and double it and bring it up here, or you could hook it into the chain and make it a custom length. So I believe I just have one in each color. This is the purple. So this is love is all around. And it is number 30. Okay, ladies, that is it for today. Tomorrow we will be doing rings and bracelets. And I did get a few new rings in. So we'll have rings and bracelets. If you have any special requests, make sure you send them to me, either by message or in the chat. Doesn't matter. Um, so that I can make sure I pull those for you. And then Friday we'll have some new things in as well. So we'll have some more new releases on Friday. They're actually coming in tomorrow, but I'll have them labeled for Friday for the show at 5 o'clock. So tomorrow's show is at noon, um, 12 Eastern Standard Time. So whatever that translates it to in your uh, time zone. So we will see you back either tomorrow or Friday, whichever show you can make. And I hope you have a good rest of the work week so we can make it to the weekend and have some fun. We'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you.